Leisha. I'm all ears. Everything went all right. I knew I could count on you. Was Halsey a good girl? Yes, as usual. Good. Were you able to find anything interesting in Ms. Drury's apartments? Yes. There was intel she had gathered on the guests, including those from the Hartford Chantry. Hmm. Anything about their regent, Deneb Osborne? Yes, he seems to be obsessed with memory magic. Interesting. I gave everything to Delson. Thank you. I'll take a look at it later. Were you able to see or hear anything interesting? Hilda was in her room. She was acting strangely. What do you mean? She was whispering things, talking to a picture of a mem. Touching, but that's of no importance. I had a vision. I knew you would. What did you see? Was I in your vision? I think it was me. My forehead was on fire. The... I... All right. Do you have any idea what it could mean? Not in the slightest. Are you disappointed? The important thing is that you're starting to have visions again. I also found that at Jara's, a file on the party. It's a record of everything Journey did. That could be useful. Give it to Delson on your way out. Anything else? That's all I was able to find. I knew I could count on you. Thank you, Leisha. Richard still wasn't there. Were you able to find out anything else? Yes. One of my servants just came back from his bar, the Red Salon, as that's where he does his research. I had hoped to find him there. But she confirmed that Dr. Dunham had gone to the party early with a few of his vessels. I'm sorry, Leisha. No. If he had been destroyed, I would have felt it. I have to go find him. You're the most discreet of all of us, it's true. But we have no idea what might have happened there. It could be dangerous. I won't be alone. Halsey will be with me. Of course. And one last thing. Dr. Dunham wasn't the only one there. There was also Miley, my child. Bring her back to me. Yes, of course. We'll leave right away. I wouldn't expect anything less of you. Thank you, Leisha. M.M., come here. Thanks, M.M. You've brought me Journey. I knew I could count on you. Jay is waiting in the antechamber. She's nervous. Tell Delson to go easy on her. We'll see about that. Did you need me for anything else? Not right now, but I will soon. I have one more favor to ask of you. All right, I'll be waiting in the next room.
prince. Delson. Zori. It seems that the Camarilla is in danger. I am at your disposal. Your sense of duty is a credit to you, Caleb. You haven't lost your touch, I hope. The Code Red is linked to the Unification Party with the Chantry. No one there is answering anymore. How many of us were there? Probably a good twenty, give or take. Dr. Dunham and our top spy, Jara Drury, were already there. Hmm. We might have lost two members of the Primogen. What about Hartford? Have you heard from them? If those dogs had anything to do with what happened, I'll cut their throats myself. Do you think they might be involved? I don't know. It's too early to draw any conclusions. Where do you want to start? Can I... can I count on you? You have no reason to doubt me. One by one, the Anseli heed the beckoning and go east. You're the eldest in the city now. Don't do this to me. Not now. I would be very grateful to you. And Fang. How may I be of service? Go and see Caius. With Jaragon. He's in charge of security. He may have learned something. You can count on me. You have my absolute confidence, Caleb. Mr. Underwood, I'm sorry, but my instructions are clear. You little shit. I'm just following orders. You have no idea what's at stake. My most honored sire, you're wasting your time here. I'd forgotten about your abject fawning. I call it respect. It appears that it's something that sewer rats know nothing about. Apparently, Caius feels he's entitled to refuse to see a member of the Primogen. I won't forget it. This isn't just a courtesy visit. You need him. I have some messages I need to deliver. They must be important. It's too bad it's forbidden. Security is one thing, but business won't wait. You can't put your accounts aside for a minute. The expression time is money is bandied about. 
but most people don't understand the real meaning of the phrase, I do. Tell me, you haven't introduced me to your charming protege yet. Zhu Feng. <laughs> yes, Zhu Feng, a name that's as delectable as her blood, I'm sure. Ah, you're planning to introduce her to the very select club of Galeb Bazori's progeny, aren't you? I hope that the prince will allow me to, shortly. I hope so for your sake. Who knows? Our dear Hazel is so unpredictable. At any rate, it would be an honor for me to welcome and guide her. You will speak of nothing with her at all. Is that an order? A word of advice. Oh, pardon me. I fell out of the habit of receiving advice from you so long ago. Well. If you'll excuse me, I must end this ever-so-pleasant conversation. <laughs> I need to find a way to avoid losing too much money. Mr. Bazori, can I help you? I need to see Caius. He doesn't want anyone to bother him. Prince's orders. I see. He's holed up in the server room. You'll need a pass to get in. There's one on his desk. Thank you. make his report. Blood tests from the Red Salon. She always said she preferred paper to digital. I don't really have time for this. Mr. Bazori, I need to focus. Caius's office. The key card must be in there. Mr. Leto isn't in his office. Security has been increased to the maximum. I've never seen anything like it.
Good evening. Were you able to reach your contact? No, still nothing. I don't like this. A list of ingredients and side effects. These servers hold all of our secrets. I understand why they're so well protected. I don't think I'm the person you need. I imagine she sent you. Finally, some good news on this shitty night. What's the situation? Not good. Not good at all. The prince needs more than that. I hope you've got it. You want details. Tell me what happened. Everything was going as planned until 11.10 p.m. The prince's child, Miss Sellers, contacted me. The Hartford Warlocks had just arrived. That's the last time we heard from any of them. Less than 20 minutes later, we received the code red, just as we were leaving to join them. Who sounded the alert? A man named Wu. Ever heard of him? A retainer, one of Jason Moore's bodyguards. Moore? The asset manager? What was he doing at the unification party? He was supposed to answer technical questions about the financial viability of the agreement. Moore is good at hiding our kind trafficking. He's one of them, after all. And you're the one who received the Code Red, personally. It arrived directly, here. It's authentic. I verified it. Anything that could be of interest to the Prince? I'm working on it. Jara Drury is the expert, not me. If only she was here. Any movement with the Anarchs? As usual, they're keeping their distance. You know it's always a pain in the ass to locate them. Any word from Hartford? Do you think it's them? It would be ill-fated. I knew we should never have trusted those damn warlocks. Any sign of Jara? Nothing at all. And that's not good. According to the protocol, she should have been there early. If they got hit, she would have been first in line. There's one thing we haven't considered. The Crimson Oaks. They were behind the Quincy Market attack, weren't they? I don't have any proof. We just caught a thin blood who wanted to trap the prince. And who told us about them. Apparently they're new in town, but Miss Drury thinks he's giving us the runaround. Did you look into it? I tried, but I didn't have the resources to discover anything else. Leave no stone unturned. Hello. You. It's about damn time. Shit. What? You're... Hello? Damn it! I lost them. Who was it? Woo. Shit. Now it's just ringing. What did he say? The party was indeed attacked. Apparently it was a real bloodbath. He and James had just enough time to get more out. They're stopping by his place to pick up some sensitive documents. And then what? Are they coming here? I don't know. We got cut off. Call him back. I'll inform Hazel.
This is a critical moment for us. I have summoned you here tonight to organize our reaction to an imminent threat. What threat exactly? We've got no reason yet to Call think- Call her off again and I'll slit your throat. Oh, excuse me. Careful, Hazel. How dare you speak to me like that? Enough! You... I command you to be silent and listen to me. Oh, so that's how it is. That's enough, Beryl. Yes, it's come to this. You would do well to listen to your sire. We have just been attacked. This is not a time for childish displays of discontent. Galeb, the Code Red was sent by Wu. Go to Moors and find out what's going on. As you wish. And bring more back to me. He was supposed to be at the party. I don't understand why he's the only one who was able to call us. I would like to speak to him very much. Consider it done. I trust you. He might be involved in this. So gather any documents you can find there that could tie us to him. Very well. Delson, see if you can get Caius to find us a new middleman in the cane business to manage our interests. I don't want to take any chances. Then I want you to talk to everyone. Somebody must have seen or heard something. Dajon, make sure all our defenses are in place. Yes, Hazel. M.M., you will go to the old Jefferson Library. What's there? That's where the Hartford Chantry calls home here. I gave them the building so they could have a base in Boston. I demand to take her place. Request denied. What game are you playing, Hazel? It's a suicide mission. It's all right. I got this. I'm not made of sugar. She's not ready for this kind of mission. I should go with her, at the very least. No, you will remain here. Emem goes alone. Why don't you send Dajan instead? Enough, Hilda. Dajan has work to do elsewhere, and I don't need to explain myself. Hazel, if anything happens to her, I'll... Nothing, Hilda. You'll do nothing. It's high time you learned to trust her. Which one of us are you planning to send to the party? She's already left. What? Who? I sent Laisha. Are you serious? A few hours ago, she was snoozing behind locked doors in a psych ward. You're playing a dangerous game, Hazel. Without us, you would never have come into power. You've chosen the worst possible moment to turn your back on us. On the contrary, I find this moment very appropriate. I am the Prince of Boston, and you are the Primogen. I owe you nothing. Delson, escort them out. The session is adjourned. You all have your instructions. 